Let's dive into the Azure Compute Options. If we look at this uh, interface here, we have Compute Instances, we have Compute Clusters, and we also have Inference Clusters. So what's the difference? Well, the Compute Cluster here uh, is where you would spin up something to provision a Jupyter Notebook. Uh, we can go ahead and do that. So if I go ahead and select New, you have the options of selecting the name. Let's just say this is uh, uh, Jupyter Demo. Uh, you can see here that I can select between a CPU or a GPU, depending on what problem I'm solving. And I also can toggle between the different machine sizes. Uh, and ad additionally, I'm able to SSH into it if I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and say Create. Uh, this usually takes a few minutes to uh, create. Now let's uh, also look at uh, Compute Clusters. If we look at Compute Clusters, uh, if I go through here, I can say new, same thing. I can say uh, compute cluster would be uh, demo cluster two. And as well, I can toggle between a GPU or, or a CPU. If I am going to be doing AutoML, for example, and I'm going to be doing deep learning, then a GPU could really make sense uh, for that particular workload. This is also important to be aware of is the uh, virtual machine priority. If I click on this, you can see that dedicated means it's always there. But a lot of times for experiments, I think the low priority is the way to go because uh, it, it will actually lower the cost. Uh, as well, I can toggle between the sizes here. And then I can select the minimum and maximum number of nodes. Now, this is important to call out here is that uh, if you don't want to be paying something when you know at night for example when uh you know you don't have a job running you should leave this at zero and then you can tell it to burst up to a certain number like let's say i want to burst up to four uh, and then i can go through and create that so what's nice about this is that it will be idle until i need it and then when i provision it uh, it'll be ready to go now let's take a look at the third type the third type is a kubernetes uh, scale inferencing cluster type. And if I go through here and I create this, you can see that it uses Kubernetes to do uh, inference or prediction at scale. So when you're creating an inference cluster, uh, you, it's very similar to the other types, compute instance, compute cluster. You would type in a name, we'll call this uh, cube cluster, and we'll select a region uh, as well, central US. Same thing, I can select different virtual machine types. We can leave a default number of nodes here, and I can go ahead and say create. Uh, finally, the last type of compute uh, instance would be uh, a specialized cluster. Let's say you're using uh, Databricks, for example, which is a managed Spark uh, environment. I could uh, hook that up into this attached cluster. So in general, there's compute instance, which is for uh, Jupyter Notebooks. There's compute clusters, which is for bursting and doing training. And then there's inference clusters, which is uh, an optimal environment for doing predictions at scale uh, using hosted Kubernetes.